at UCL, we have our own sort of homegrown CAR T-cell program and we're uh, responsible for manufacturing multiple products and uh, we have initially started with a very a conventional manufacture process and uh, that's in a GMP laboratory which is a, um, essentially it's a sort of a clean room environment where you effectively your object is to try to make your cell products as sterile as possible and as standardized as possible so you're sort of looking really from a quality perspective uh, and manufacturing in that way uh, with conventional processes is incredibly labor intensive and uh, extremely costly and we were really limited in the number of products that we could make for patients so we uh, collaborated with a, a company called Milteni Biotech uh, who've generated a, a, an instrument which is basically it's a standalone benchtop instrument uh, that allows you to manufacture CAR T cells using effectively a machine to do the hard work for you um, and you program it you know, there's a sort of a programmable um, activity matrix and you tell the machine what to do and at the end of it you've got CAR T cells for a patient. And actually what you can have, I mean, the sort of, the, 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 probably the goal is to get a factory of these machines or equi machines equivalent to this uh, to be able to simultaneously manufacture the multiple products that we need for our patients at UCL. So that's our sort of, that, that's been a big um, bulk of our work and that's certainly described in, in the paper, is how we can sort of make our manufacturing processes uh, essentially easier uh, and more efficient so that we can manufacture more products for our patients. So that's one um, exciting development for us. I think probably the next big step in the field is to determine whether you can actually make a third party off the shelf CAR T product. So not necessarily going to the patient or even a bone marrow donor, going to you know, sort of a healthy person off the street who can donate the T cells and then by using some sort of clever uh, editing of their genome and uh, the integration then of your car that you can make multiple doses of a car which is effectively neutral uh, to the patient so whoever calls up and whoever needs a car you can literally lift a, a dose off the shelf so I think I mean we have our own set of uh, uh, preclinical uh, experiments that are going on to try and validate these approaches um, but I, I think ultimately that's what the future will hold for us will be a universal CAR-T product for all patients.